Hello, today we are going to be talking about the HS cooling systems. These are our high static horizontal flow through ducted systems. As you can see, all of your connections are on one side, so as you're installing, you can put the back of it right up fairly close to a wall if you need to. If anything internally ever needs serviced, the fan motor is accessed on the supply air side. The expansion valve and solenoid valve is accessed on the return air side. So make sure you have room that you can get your duct work off on either end so you can access either port. Your liquid and suction lines are here. They're clearly marked with an L and an S. Be careful, some of the smaller units, the tubing is the same size and people have mixed them up. Be sure you don't get your suction and liquid lines reversed or you'll run into a lot of trouble on startup. Now, the wiring on the unit is the same as all of our other LRC coils. You open up here, you've got your two blue wires for the solenoid valve. One blue goes to the black, the other blue goes to the white on the speed control and then you've got your neutral goes here your hot goes here the speed control is normal allows you to adjust the speed of the motor so that you can get the proper temperature difference across the evaporator coil once you've got the suction set at 33 pounds and it's best to check up once the room is down into the 50s. Check your temperature difference across the evaporator coil and make sure you're running between 7 and 10 degrees to keep the proper humidity. Removable access port right here. You can open that and you can go in with a 3 8 nut driver or a 3 8 socket on an extension with a ratchet to adjust the expansion valve. Remember when adjusting the valve, be careful. One turn will do approximately six pounds. Never go all the way in tight or you will damage the valve and it'll no longer be able to be adjusted. Thank you.